So continuing our Azadi conversations, and we have to speak to somebody whom we have to credit for the fact that today every house is red. It all started with the fact that he couldn't uh, hoist the flag at uh, at his factory, and it went into courts, and the courts were surprised, and the court said that if somebody wants to hoist the tricolor, why should they be stopped? So, but that was such a long time ago. There I durustai Navin ji, but it's happening now. So see, that happened uh, 30 years back. You know, so I came back from US in 1992, exactly 30 years ago, and but uh, and I started this, started uh, you know the legal struggle in 2000 and uh, sorry 1994. I started the legal struggle. So in 10 years, 10 after 10 years of legal struggle, in 2004, 23rd January 2004. Supreme Court of India declared displaying of the national flag as a fundamental right under freedom of speech and expression. So it has been allowed, I would say, since then, since uh, January 2004. But then, uh, and then we formed Flag Foundation of India. We have been trying to encourage people to popularize the display of the national flag. That more and more people should display the national flag. We set up uh, hundreds of monumental national flags. You know these tall national flags, like the one you see in Central Park. You know the erstwhile Connaught Place. So, and all over India, we put up such flag. And seeing us do that, more than 600 other flags have been set up. <laughs> so we'd be happy to know that India has more than 700 monumental flags, which is more than any other country in the world. So all that has been happening, but now. Uh, you know now suddenly government of india you know our honorable prime minister mr modi taking this initiative encouraging people to display the flag you know from 13th to 15th of august calling it har har tiranga so i welcome this i'm grateful to him for me it's like a dream come true yes i've been wanting it for last 30 years that every person everywhere i went every expo i always said That you know, please display the flag. Display the flag on all days. But obviously, Mr. Modi is saying it has a, has a much more of an uh, impact. So only difference is, Anand, that I am not saying to just do it from 13th to 15th. Yeah. I say do it every day. Yes. Why must we not celebrate our independence every day? Why I must we not draw inspiration from our national flag every day? Going forward, next 25 years. How would you see us working together as a country, and where where does the tricolor come in? Because there are many who have said and who I have spoken to who say that when you look at something as a constant reminder every day, it reminds you that this is this comes first. Every action has to be driven by this particular entity, and that's why the flag needs to be somewhere where you see it on it on a daily basis. So Anand, exactly, you have answered the question also. Okay, so it's just uh, as a symbolic gesture. You know, you see all the time American presidents, hmm. right? They all display a lapel pin, right? They on yeah. the lapel pin they display the flag. Every person in the world know that they are American president, but it's just a symbolic gesture of showing, taking the pride in your national symbol. You know, your greatest national symbol. So, like you said, when a person displays the national flag, it's a small act of patriotism. It's a small step that you take, but your steps are not going to stop there. It's just the first act, and then the flag will always remind us of our duties towards the country. Yeah, and not just har ghar tiranga; it is har din tiranga. So, so that, yeah. that that's what we should do. Har din tiranga, hamesha tiranga. Hamesha tiranga. Well said, Navin ji. Always a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you for making yeah. the time. Har.